Hello guys. I'm gonna read something. I hopefully I can hopefully I can read it okay so you guys will be able to understand it. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but I still gonna try and do read something about Red Bull and Max Verstappen. The Red Bull uh, have an ident identified uh, problem but not easy to solve it, says Dutchman. Basically it says uh, 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 Max Verstappen. So Max Verstappen, he, he, so he's saying that is behind to make up a loss of ground and end up colliding with Alfa Romeo. Kimi Reagan and Termon become crashing further around down the lap on top of e uh, Arouge, Arouge. Uh, you say that Arouge. So we already know what happened, but basically he's uh, he's saying that it was a uh, uh, saying that is uh, his uh, problem. He have a problem with the clutch. They spins the wheels, and usually he's got a good takeoff, and he spins the wheels, and so that's what what, what happened. He spins the wheels. And then he, he have a problem to slow it down after he already spins the wheels. So, yeah, and uh, hopefully they're gonna, uh, hopefully uh, with the new engine, it will be better as soon as they release the clutch, big award, and we are seeing struggle a little bit. So they struggle with a little bit of it. To compare the last few, few years, let's say if we had a bad start, it will be lost position if I had a, a good start, I will overtake someone. But now, if I have a good start, I keep my position. If I have a bad start, I lose one or two positions. So that's tricky bit. That's what he said, the Dutchman. Of course, I cannot go fully into details of this. A bit secret, but is about the drive off line as soon as I release the clutch that as soon as he released the clutch, the pace from the first to second gear, this is the moment which is, is a bit tricky. So that's what he says. And for up and clearly third and drive championship points. But anyhow, that's what he was saying. Uh, and uh, he will start from the back in Italy. He starts from the back with the new power engine. I guess it's not just a new power. I, but let's say he starts from the back. So, but he's a good. The, sometimes from the back starts and uh, and it works very. It depends. It not always works very, very great, but sometimes it don't. So, starting from the back or anything could happen. But he's he's it's just that's where he's gonna start from the back, and we'll see what happens. But. Uh, that's what he says. The problem, at least he admit he, he admits that uh, Red Bull have a kind of problem with the clutch problem taking off, and uh, that's what he's saying. Maybe that's just a mega because they didn't seem they uh, it didn't seem have a problem. It was a problem with the uh, Alexander Albon. He took off very well with the same same car, same team. But uh, he did because he just, I believe he just made a mistake now to trying to say that it's it's a problem with the clutch and blah, 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 blah. Spin the wheels. But of course you're going to spin the wheels if you do, uh, you're going to, you're not going to do right with your clutch. You're going to spin the wheels. Of course you will do because Kimi, a few years ago, he had an issue like that he was doing with, uh, or was with the, when he, yeah, when he was with the Ferrari, he was having some type of issue. You're having problem with the his it was his his uh, his mistakes but Kimi and Alfa Romeo does perfect start so I don't know it could be the car and stuff but that's what the Red Bull guys say so mm, hopefully we will see good fight in uh, Monza Italy thank you we might have the we might gonna have the his uh, interview here too Okay, stick. I will. I will add the interview too. He's got pre-race interview with uh, Max Verstappen. What do you have to say? Even that, but I guess the negative is starting at the back. Yeah, you can say so. You look at the positive side is that I have to do some overtaking on Sunday, which I like. But um, I think this is the least painful track to do it because we know that we're anyway going to be struggling a little bit more than uh, normal uh, on some other tracks. So. Yeah, and uh, of course when you get more power it's always good, 
and also looking to the future for the rest of the season and, and for next year. I think our aim is to improve and, and be really, really competitive starting next year. So by doing that, you know, you take a new engine, you learn again about that potential engine for for the future. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Is it worth tuning it all the way up for this weekend, knowing that you're starting so far back? Or are you going to have to hold a little bit back like you had to, had to in Spa? I know there were some frustrations there that you had to hold back. Uh, well, this is a, fre a fresh engine, so compared to Spa, where we're, of course, running to the end of the life of, of that engine, um, probably, yeah, you will be able to run it a bit more powerful anyway. Uh, but it also depends a bit on what position you are, you know. Uh, if you can still catch people in front of you, of course, you're going to go for it. If you're at one point on your own, then you, you save it. But I think that's what you always do, so I don't think there will be any big surprises there. Thank you.